Welcome you all. So in this video lecture, we are going to discuss the Dirac particle in electromagnetic field. Fine. So for that, we have to know what is the Dirac equation in, uh, without the electromagnetic field. Without the electromagnetic field, we have the Dirac equation as ht psi is equals to e psi, where you know ht is nothing but c times alpha dot p plus of beta m naught c square acting on operator psi, which is give, give us e psi. Fine till now it's fine uh, okay so what changes when you put uh, this uh, this system in the electromagnetic field okay so what happens in the electromagnetic field is two things happen as you know analogous uh, it is analogous to the situation what we did with the schrodinger equation okay if you remember so e gets replaced by e minus of e phi and p gets replaced by e minus e a divided by c what is a here a is nothing but uh, our magnetic vector potential magnetic vector potential okay so it is our magnetic vector potential so let's see what happens in the em field in em field uh, so as you know the dirac equation before is e psi so this e will be replaced by e minus e phi e minus e phi times of psi and in this the p will be get replaced and you will be having p times alpha dot p vector minus of e a vector divided by c uh, plus m naught sorry beta is also there beta m naught c square psi is equals to uh, no no equals to i have already written the e psi here so this is not in the form of uh, some Hamiltonian type um, times the operator is equal to e psi. So the, in this form, you will write this in this form. Then only you will get the Dirac Hamiltonian and the electromagnetic field. So let me do that for you. So e psi. I'm for that I am bring. Uh, I will bring this term to the right hand time, right hand side. So you will have e psi into p times of alpha vector dot p minus of e a divided by c plus of beta m naught c square plus of e phi the whole acting on the operator psi fine i hope you get it now what will what we will have is this e you can write as i h cross you see you can write as i h cross del by del t acting on the psi similarly let me okay first tell me one thing tell I will tell you one thing. So now this is in the form of h psi is equals to a Hamiltonian times psi. Let me call this Hamiltonian as Dirac in electromagnetic field. Okay. So this is not the, this thing is our Dirac Hamiltonian in electromagnetic field. Fine. Now let me do some further calculations. So E can be replaced by h cross of del by del t of uh, acting on psi, which is equals to our Oh, that was not P, that was C. I mistakenly read it as P. That was C, fine. Uh, times C. Now this alpha will be dotted with P. When this alpha will get dotted with P, you will have alpha K, P, K. Okay, so you can write it as alpha K, P, K. Similarly, and when this alpha K, alpha will be dotted with A, you will have alpha K, A, K. And this is a trivial alpha K sorry alpha k is where we have to common a k divided by c plus of p time not c square plus of e phi acting on operator psi fine till now it's uh, going dead uh, oh we also know the value for pk so let me replace that to i h cross of del by del t of psi is equals to c times of alpha k uh, so if you put the value of p you can you will get minus h cross del by del x k so minus h cross i am taking common minus h cross c times alpha k and in the bracket you will have del by del x k minus e a k divided by psi plus of p time not c square plus of e phi i am scared i will not go out of the screen uh, I have to okay, take care of that too. Okay, so till now it's going great. Fine. What else we can do? Aha, uh -huh, I made a mistake. We, if we take minus i h cross common from in here, you will be left with minus of i h cross 
see here fine as you took the minus h cross common so you will be having minus h cross here too so now let me short uh, short out the thing let me solve this further solve this and uh, this will be confusing otherwise so it is i h cross of del by del t of psi is equals to minus of i alpha k h cross c del by del x k so what you will have minus minus plus and one by i can be written as minus i okay so you will be have minus i e a k divided by h cross of c plus of p time not c square I'm not of c square plus of e psi acting on the operator psi fine so now you see we have i alpha k uh, it will be remembering of you something it will be remembering you of the Dirac comma matrices which is uh, which is you know as uh, is given by minus of i beta of alpha k is equals to gamma k so we need a beta extra beta here so multiply the whole equation by beta that's what we can do i h cross beta del by del t of psi is equals to minus of i beta alpha k times of h cross c del by del x k minus i e a k divided by h cross of c plus of b times not c squared plus of e phi times of psi fine okay till now it's fine so let me replace the things with their respective values as beta is equals to and beta is what beta is equals to gamma 4 similarly i beta alpha k is equals to gamma of k and anything else you can change let me see yes okay we forgot to multiply these things by beta these will be all these will also be multiplied by beta so you will be having beta times let me show you there you will be having beta times beta m not c square plus of beta e phi plus of beta e phi acting on psi fine so you will be having i h cross times gamma 4 del by del t of psi is equals to gamma k h cross c or you can say h cross c gamma k both are the same h cross c gamma k into del by del x k minus i e a k divided by h cross c plus of beta square is one one more thing this is beta square is one and this beta is equals to gamma 4 we change all at once plus beta square is equals to 1 so this will be m not square not c square plus gamma 4 of e of phi hmm. so we are doing great proceed further uh, one thing i guess uh, you can see as the phi here so this phi can be changed to something else like other terms you have in a case psi case so let me change it to something else for that you should know that uh, the magnetic vector potential has four components a1 a2 a3 and a4 so what is the fourth component of it the fourth component of it is given as i5 fine you can you should know this from your electromagnetic course okay so this is i5 so how can you make this i5 you have to do nothing you have you can if something is multiplied by one there is no difference so as you know i square is equal to minus one so one can be written as minus of i square or you can say minus of i times i so that's we will we will be doing we will go to we will do here okay the rest will be copied as it is fine so let me copy the rest of the thing as it is okay so what clever manipulation we need to make let me show you wait i'm running out of space so you can do what you can do here is this you can multiply it by minus of i times of i which is one okay so no change is made actually then you can write i h cross gamma 4 
del by del t of psi is equals to let me again copy paste uh, this must thing okay oh, this much i can copy here we are going to make the difference so minus i will be common not common minus i will come before and into plus e into i of phi this is the a4 this is the thing for we made this clever manipulation i want to remind you to remember this step this is very crucial so you this is now what we want to do next is we uh, bring all of this to the same side okay and replace this by a4 fine so we will have i h cross gamma 4 del psi by del t plus of this i am bringing to the right hand side i gamma 4 e a4 times psi and this also minus of h cross c gamma k del by del x k minus of i e a k divided by h cross c of psi of psi uh, of minus psi minus of m naught c square of psi which is equals to zero fine so this uh, we have now you can see we have uh, we have a4 here and psi can we do anything yes i guess let me change it to the x4 what is the step for changing it to the x4 multiplication and division by i c okay so you will be having i will be having i i will be having i h cross i c i multiplied it multiplied with i c and this is gamma 4 So this is comma 4 del psi of del t uh, okay so uh, i also divided with ic into t fine this is nothing but x4 this is this term is x4 del by del x4 it will become uh, and we have with this minus of h cross c gamma k del by del x k minus of i e h i e a k divided by h cross c acting on the state psi plus additionally i have i gamma 4 e a psi minus of m naught square c psi is equals to zero fine still now it's going great so i square is minus one i have minus h cross c gamma 4 del psi by del 4 del x4 minus of h cross c gamma k del by del x k minus of i e a k divided by h cross c times of psi times of psi plus of i gamma 4 e a uh, e a 4 that was a 4 I guess it was a4. Yes, it was a4. A4 psi minus of m naught c square times of psi is equal to zero. So now we can divide the whole expression by minus h cross c, minus i h cross c. Sorry, minus h cross c. So you will be having gamma 4 del psi by del x4 h minus h cross c. This uh, you will have plus of gamma k del by del x k minus of i e a k divided by h cross c times of psi fine plus of i gamma 4 
e a four psi minus of m naught c square times psi is equals to zero. Hmm. What else we can have? So uh, between these two terms, we can take the gamma for common. So if you take uh, first, let me write this term. This term is gamma k del by del x k minus of i e a k divided by h cross c acting on the straight psi. So I am taking the i common. Yes, I am taking the gamma for common. You will get the reason why I am doing so. Del by del x four plus of i e a four. I think now you have understood the reason why I am doing so. Fine. Okay, I forgot to multiply it by minus h cross c minus h cross c. This will be plus h cross of c, and the c will get cancelled out. This is a four divided by h cross c acting on the state psi plus of m not c divided by h cross into psi is equal to zero. Where m not h m not c by h cross is nothing but kappa, and this you can replace by gamma mu and a mu gamma mu del by del x mu minus i e a mu divided by h cross c. Times of psi plus of this is nothing but kappa psi is equal to zero. So where mu runs from one to four. Okay, let me write it for you. Where mu runs from one, two, three, four. So first three corresponds to k, and this is four. Fine. So this is nothing but the covariant derivative. You can represent this bracketed term as d. Fine. D mu. You can say it is psi. Plus of k psi is equals to zero, or you can say gamma mu d plus kappa into psi is equals to zero. So this this d is called the covariant derivative. This d is called the covariant derivative. ठीक है? Covariant derivative को हम किससे दिखाते हैं? Del by del x mu minus of i e a mu h cross c. So this video has already been so long. So this is the main expression. Fine. I hope. Now you understood the whole step. This is a very lengthy derivation. We took longer time than in comparison to the other derivations.